everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more so today's video is going to be a one brand makeup tutorial with wet and wild yes whatever you are watching on my face right now is from wet and wild i got a request to do this video that's why i'm doing this and I really loved the way how it turned out and Wet n Wild is one of my favorite drugstore brands so yeah without further ado let's get started first I'm using this photo focus primer and I'm just smoothing out my skin with it this is a really nice primer I highly recommend you to get this one this is matte finish primer but it doesn't dry out your skin like desert you know what I mean now for my brows, I'm using this Wet n Wild Retractable Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown and I'm just drawing the borders first then I'll be filling it up using smaller strokes. This is again one of my favorite products. I'm just combing my brows using the spoolie. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Medium Beige and I'm just cleaning up the borders. I mean everything is from Wet n Wild so I don't think I have to mention it again and again. I'm just blending everything out using my finger. I'm using this photo focus foundation in the shade golden beige and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck then I'll be blending it out using this kabuki brush from Puna store. This foundation is a little drying for me right now because I am truly dry right now. Now for highlighting and concealing, I'm using the Photo Focus Concealer again. I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on my eyelids. Center of my forehead, chin, cupid bow, sides of my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next. Then I'm just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge. This is again my one of my favorite concealers this blends like a dream and the coverage is medium to high and it is really buildable so i highly recommend you to get this concealer i'm taking this banana powder from the contour palette and i'm just brightening up my under eyes and I'm also going to set the concealed areas with it. I do not have a pressed powder from Wet n Wild because I could not find my shade in my nearest Walgreens and Walmart. So I'm not able to use that. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild contour stick in the shade where is Walnut and I'm just contouring the parameters of my face. Now again I'm blending everything out with the same damp beauty sponge. This contour stick, this has a really nice cool undertone to it and it is really perfect for contouring. If you are my shade then you can give it a shot. I'm just setting my contour using the contour shade from the contour palette. Don't worry if it is looking a little harsh right now but it will be all perfect once it is blended out. Trust me. Now using the banana powder, I'm just dusting all over on my face. Now for my eyes, I'm taking this transition color from my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. And I'm just applying it as my transition shade. These eyeshadows are so good. I have two of them, the rose in the air palette and this one. And this is the first time I'm using it and I am really really impressed with the pigmentation with with the formula everything is so nice now I'm taking this 
transition shade and I'm going to apply it on my crease. This eyeshadows blends like magic. There is no harshness or patchiness at all. I'm just wetting my brush with the makeup fixing spray and I'm taking this beautiful teal color from the same palette and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids. This is a stunning color. I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow this is a shimmery brown eyeshadow and I'm just applying it on my outer V area to give my eyes some depth and definition I'm also slowly dragging it towards my inner corners I'm taking this beautiful ivory color from the same palette and I'm just applying it on the inner corners or inner one third area of my eyelids i'm so bad at explaining things you can clearly see doing me here whatever i'm doing i'm just taking the same dark brown eyeshadow and i'm just applying it on the outer one-third area of my lower lash line then I'm using the teal color and I'm just applying it on the middle part of my lower lash line basically I'm just repeating the same thing that I did for my eyelids now taking the silver or ivory kind of a color I'm just applying it on my inner corners For tight lining and for my waterline, I'm using this Wet n Wild Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Black. I honestly do not like the pigmentation of this eyeliner. I don't know. It just did not work out for me. Now I'm just applying a coat of mascara. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to cheat here a little bit because I'm going to apply some pulses and these are not from Wet n Wild. I'm taking this color icon blush in the shade Mellow Wine and I'm just applying it on the high points of my face. Then I'll be blending it out with my contour. Now my favorite part it's highlighting and for that i'm using my favorite highlighter this is their mega glow highlighter in precious petals and i'm just hitting the high points of my face using this highlighter you know the drill right like cheekbones nose cupid bow chin size of my forehead blah 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 you know right i'm also highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with the same highlighter I'm just setting my makeup using this Wet n Wild Natural Finish Makeup Setting Spray so that there is no excess powder or anything. I'm just bouncing my Beauty Blender so slightly. For my lips, I'm using this Cat Shoot Liquid Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. This is again one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. This color is just perfect for day-to-day -day use and this is my go-to color. I have been using this lipstick ever since I got it this is a really stunning color so here is the final look I truly truly liked the way it turned out I think this look is perfect for any party or any night out you know so you can definitely wear this look on 31st night or New Year Eve's I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel 
and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please check that out see you in my next video till then bye and take care